All right. So this is going to still go for a little bit longer. But I'm going to fade it out very gracefully. There we go. So that was uh, Violet Pony's bass cannon from the album Carousel. Let's see, I should actually get some other music on now. But yeah, that was... There's something with... So, it's Violet Pony as in My Little Pony. And it's very explicitly like My Little Pony fan. Well, I guess not really, like... It's weird, but I don't know what's up with, like, the My Little Pony fandom and, like, lots of musicians. Because there's Violet Pony. I think the Living Tombstone started as... Well, he did some fan songs. He did a lot of fan work for different things. And then there is a Russian couple. I forget what their name was. I'll have to look them up. But I don't know... I don't know what it is, because I've never seen, like... There's never been another, like, brand of... Or, like, another, like, group of, like, fan media where, like, it's like a... There's, like, a a noticeable music scene like you don't get like cool like well i guess maybe you would get like sonic the hedgehog songs maybe i've just never heard them but i don't know i've like literally never even watched an episode of my little pony but for some reason there's just a bunch of music that i like made by people who are big fans of my little pony who knows maybe maybe it was just a i don't know what it is but oh, anyway today what i'm doing so, the past few days, I've been stuck making a terrible walk animation where the character walks into a little room, and I've made it like three times, and I've decided, I've realized, what if I simply uh, don't make it anymore? Because it's clear that I'm not very good at animating. But, if we go to, so I'm going to save this. Consequences be damned. The computer's dying for this. Because this also automatically exports the scene as GLB files. And it exports anything that's visible, but I want those visible for now. Because what I'm going to do... So if we go to... Uh, here... Let's see, is this the... This is the right thing. So I made a half acceptable walk cycle as like practice a couple days ago. So I'm thinking, what if I just do what everybody does and have the characters walk to things through like scripting instead of, because my original plan was to be able, was to really go and try to do my best and like animate the character fully interacting with the room. So like she's walking around, like in this room, she like, she like has a really detailed like sitting down animation. And then I could have her, like, you know, walk around the entire room and, like, do all these sorts of active things that are, like, you know, really well animated. But the problem is, to make something that's really well animated, I, I have to animate it well. And that is uh, not really turned out. Because I think I just don't have the... I just mainly don't have the time, like... Because if I, like, sat down and had, like, like a full, like, 40 hours of a week then maybe I could spend a couple weeks to make this look really good. But I work in two and a half hour batches, you know, after the end of a, after the end of a full day's work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the executive decision that I will have some things that are like, so like I'm going to have like, Let's say right here, this is the new start of this animation. So this is going to be intro sit. And what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to have a generic walk cycle from like here to here. And then she'll transition into a sitting animation that's like, you know, attached to the room or something. And that will be how she actually gets here. Let's put it right here. So this is going to be... Let's do whole character. And so what I'm going to do... And now we have a very simple 90 frame animation. 
doesn't look very good. What's missing here? So I think... I think her... Well, I think partially it's that she needs to sit down a little slower. So like, let's scale this out a little bit. Like right like here. And I think she should be more rotated forward. And this way, this gives me a lot less to deal with, with terms of this, uh... Because now I can just go in and fiddle with this, uh... These leg bones here, so let's get that. So I'm, I'm gonna say this is officially good enough. Well, I don't like how fast now, because she, like, gets really fast and then really slow. and eh, it's good enough. Hi. It's going well. Let's see. Yeah, I might as well put Blender in there. Let's go to my tags. Uh, Blender animation. I'll have to remember to get those out of here once I'm not in Blender, but that'll be fun. And actually, I'm going to goodbye myself. I also accidentally, when I unmuted myself, I accidentally stopped the recording. So there's going to be a little cut in it, but just a few seconds. But okay. So this is going to be my final goodbye. To this, to trying to make this animation. So let's, let's make it count. By doing a half decent job. <laughs> yep, I took down the camera. Because I have a big... Um, to make the camera look good, I have to have a big like overhead light shining directly in my face, which is uh, very distracting. <clears throat> I mean, but it does look great, though. It, it dramatically improves the frame rate, specifically, because the exposure settings have to... You know, cameras are really sophisticated nowadays, but it means that it can be hard to figure out things like that. Like, you know, like, I'm, I'm sure at some point in my life I've been like, why is the frame rate of this particular video so bad? And it's like, well, because, it, you know, there's not enough light in the scene. Okay. So I'm not going to do any... Well, yeah, I'm just... I'm not going to do anything fancy here. This is going to be... A, a, a barely adequate walking into the scene, sitting down thing. Just to make her legs not clip. That's where her, that's where her dress is? That's bizarre. Hang on, what if I delete these? Oh, why is she? Thanks. Yeah, I like occasionally doing the, uh, the videos, or the, uh, webcam. See, I think at some point 
There's just an issue with the blending that I still need to fix. Because yeah, I shouldn't need to have to go in here like every individual frame. Actually. I think this could be a little bit further out and then it goes down. Yeah, that looks good. I don't think so. I've, I've completely forgotten what I said. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to change these key bindings because I have Alt F11 and Shift F11 to mute and unmute myself, and that has not worked out at all. That's gross. Let's move this just right here. Maybe just ever so slightly. Yeah, because I could just have, like, a... I could have the camera even without the, uh... The what-have-you, the, like, lights and stuff. It would look worse, but it would be there then. But I also like the idea of just... Only occasionally ha having the camera come out. Let's see, can I get... Eh, that's good enough. So I think here, what I'll do is I'll just have this come out a little bit more. There's a really gross snapping here, which I'm almost certain is because I did like 10 billion frames here. So let's just delete these. Oh, that's just a that's just a thing from like What is what was that from? Eh. I actually kind of like this. There's like a very slight Set of like indirect like uh, rotation here. And I kind of like that for all of these, honestly. You know, just a little bit of like anticipation there and then What's this one doing? This one, like, twitches. Ah, I see. Let's make sure. Okay, so I did that wrong. This one. 
moves in. And then it's there's a little bit more. So that way it feels a little bit more like a fabric. Is it 90? Eh, it's like 80 frames or 70 frames even. Wait, is her... I don't think her hips are aligned with her feet. I feel like the easiest way to fix this... to just have her sit in a different place. Okay. Why is this? Oh, here it is. Wait, what number did I press then? Oh, that was just to change the actual, like, where I was playing the animation preview or whatever. There's something sus- ah, I see. Okay, so that gets me there. So now I need... Oh wait, I should have... Uh... Ah well. Let's attach here. Oh wait, I need these actually to be disabled. So let's append... I need action test walk. And let's go to walk cycle and let's delete this one. So I'm going to undo that, clear that. I guess I'm going to call this This is now my cool new walk cycle, which is 68 frames. And I don't know, is that, like, correct? I see an obvious issue. A few obvious issues with this. One is, her feet go way too high. Like, she's, like, marching. And then with that, we can dramatically reduce the dress movement. Hmm. And I think what I need to do is go through this whole thing. And let's like scale it down to like 50 frames and then i need to change how her foot moves because her foot needs to have some like carry or like smoothly interpolate the velocity into here hmm yeah that could be fun
Or I can imagine being nostalgic for that. And here. I'm gonna get these so that these no longer need to be nearly as far out. So I'm going to rotate them a little bit in. Mm hmm. That makes sense. So here I'm also going to do the same thing. There we go, like. I'm going to do a little bit less there. Mm-hmm. something funky here. Ah, I see. What if I get rid of this one? Hmm. Okay, yeah. And I've been trying to figure out ways that I can get more time for development. Because I only, you know, because I only typically do like two hours of streaming a day. Let's see, I see a little bit of a, oh, wait, of a snap, do I think, yeah, okay, right here, there we go, And if I want this to look better, I could have all of these rotate in nice ways as they flutter about. What is this? I guess that's well I won't I won't worry about it too much, but Thank you. 
Okay, I'm going to say this is good enough, so let's save it, stash it. Then we'll go to, um, we'll hide this. Go to our non-linear animation editor, because I need to delete a few of these things. So I need intro sit to be stashed. Oh, it's already stashed. So we have reset, walk, loop, walk, cycle. So this one... No longer necessary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, soft light would be good. It is tricky, though, because it's mainly just um, having a lot of light. <clears throat> and also generally light coming from uh, in front of me. Because I have a... Um, in the wall in front of me, there's my window, actually. So I can't have any bounce lighting directly in front of me. But maybe if I get a new desk, because this desk is kind of bad. It's a little bit too high, and it's not adjustable. And I guess it was, I mean, it was 120 bucks, so it wasn't expensive. Did this save? Why did this not save? So now I need probably, hmm, yeah, it's just overcast usually, and also it, as it gets to the evening. Yeah, so I so I augment it with with the uh, with the light bar that I have right in front of me. But okay, let's see. I'm gonna do. Um, let's see if this animation's here. So I should have. Okay, so I have a bunch of things. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna remove some of these. It's like test walk loop. No longer here. I'm pretty sure it's no longer here. And I'm also seeing there is no walk in here. Failed to open player animations code 31. Hang on, I need this one. Let's go here. So I'm going to say goodbye to this. And I don't know where this is saved at. Okay. Now there's only one animation that's going to be saved here. Hmm. 
Admittedly, my gripes about the lighting setup aren't that big a deal. It's mostly that I'm not... Like, if I really wanted to have the camera on, I would just do it and have the lighting on, but I also get antsy with the, the camera. And also, I like using this footage as B-roll for my dev vlogs, and I don't want my uh, face cam in them. Because I was even looking into, like, can I record two separate video tracks, one with um, without the webcam? and then stream the one with the webcam. But then it'd get complicated because I'd still want the stream VODs to have the webcam. Wait, what am I doing in here? This isn't where I want to be. Okay, so now I have the unenviable task of trying to figure out what exactly I want to do here because I need to go to the... Because now I have some animations. I should have some animations. Maybe someday. I'm going to close these. Fail to open animation at dynamic mum slash anim code 31. Oh, I thought I thought that that's what you were talking about, Alex. <laughs> and admittedly, I'm not a huge fan of webcam either, but I think it's good to at least occasionally show my face. <laughs> yeah, currently I'm streaming through, or when I use the webcam, it's actually my phone velcroed to uh, my desk. And I connect to it over Wi-Fi. So that was a... The app, to get HD, you pay $5 for the app. But it works pretty well. Because it was cheaper than a webcam. Let's see, so what am I looking for? What am I even doing? I guess I need this. And I need, um... Code 31. Invalid parameter. Oh, I see. There's probably, um... So if I go here... Characters, mom, and... Okay. So that was an unrelated bug. That wasn't like my animations were bad. That was, uh... That directory had been bad, and it was silently failing for a while. And this is the first time I noticed, because I'm actually using it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a... My setup is basically just whatever I had. Like, I'm using a, like, a 10-year-old Blue Yeti that I bought in high school. Let's make sure that my animations are in here. I have a billion of them. Hang on. This one does not exist anymore. It shouldn't. No, these don't... Those don't exist, game. I did, oh, wait, no, I see why. I know why. Okay. And actually, that's almost certainly the case. No, that's, that outfit's fine. Okay, so the issue was... This was actually failing to export. Yeah, if I got a large amount of followers, I guess maybe I'd use just my nice phone. Let's see, so we have intro sit, intro walk. So I think these two do not exist anymore.
So sit test. Uh, test walk. Cycle, walk loop. Let's see what this one looks like. There's that ever so slightly classic, like, um, looping pause, because I haven't gone through the graph editor and done that, but... Hmm, hmm. Yeah, I don't know very much about cameras. Save this, and I'm going to do, uh, I think intro walk does not exist. Walk cycle does not exist. And now intro sit is still relative to the, um, this will be a miserable affair to organize. Because what I could do and what I should do and what my heart of hearts would tell me to do is I can uh, make this relative to the object. So like because right now it's relative to the room that this is all going to take place in, because that was how I was originally animating all this stuff. So I'll have to switch from being relative to herself with the walk cycle. Hmm. Okay, how am I going to do this? Let's go to the illusory room. I guess what I can do is I can just have it. Um, let's do hologram real visible. There we go. And then I'm going to have, um, I don't know, custom animations here. So let's add another one like. So instead of trying to sync things up with actual code, I'll just do some sort of like orchestrator. So yeah, now we're not going to do this. So now I need to actually have um, proper, like, methods here. Oh, well. Oh. No worries. Let's see, so mum walks in. going to be actually what I can do is just like
Okay, so what do I even have here? Well, I have a lot of, like, compromising notes in there. Oh, well. Let's see. So what am I even looking for? I'm looking for medium. So it's what? Project, dialogue, main. Because now we don't do show. Well, we do uh, main speaker, play. Um, walks. Yeah, but it's not too bad. It was nothing like, I don't know, unethical. But it is sort of more for my case that I should probably, to myself, that I should probably, uh, have a separate streaming account on my computer. But okay, so now we have this play animation. Hmm. I need to do it here because we need her and we need um hello and then we're gonna have the uh, this And for now, what I'm going to do, very cool, get her from here to here, first off. And I'll just need a way of previewing animations that she plays, because what I'll do is then I'll have one animation, I'll just switch to a different animation and position on the same frame, which should hopefully work. Also, I don't like that her eyebrows are like skin color. They're probably just white. I appreciate the lovely little spin as well. Is she like on the ground? Eh, basically. What would be really nice here is to have the ability to have, um, I guess animations controlled by the velo by her like velocity. I don't know exactly what I'm saying. Or, I guess, like, to be able to drag her around like this, and she automatically, like, has a different walk animation for, like, you know, moving sideways and moving, uh, different ways. I can figure that out someday, maybe. Oh, God. Wow. Why? Why not just, like, rotate the way that I want it to rotate, instead of this way? Okay, now let's do some math. 
360 minus 117 is 243. And someday I'll even have like nice curves for this or something. But okay, very cool there. So now I need um, a method on this called like play animation or something. And that actually needs to be, um, let's do if is or engine dot editor int. Because what I'm going to, because in the editor, I just use the animation player to preview animations. And then I need to enable the animation tree. And here, how it's going to work is there's going to be a new animation node. So this is going to be called like a custom node. And also we need, uh, this is going to be nothing now. We're gonna have a walk, which I guess all right. I have to select the clicking tool. Very convenient feature that they added. They're like, what if instead of using the mouse, you had to click a special button to use the mouse? Let's see, it is three point. It was a 3.x branch. So, it's been a while since I've uh, uh, kept it up to date, but yeah, it was 3.6 beta. Technically. Oh. Right, every time I save it, it plays the reset animation, but okay. Now, maybe if I go here, See what happens if I insert a key to um, play something, and this will just be like intro sit. Let's see if this works at all. It does not seem to play the animation. But I would assume that's because it doesn't support, um, So orchestrator. Yeah, okay. Um, I've been able to rebase it a few times, but sometimes I've had to go to the fresh branch of Godot or import the fresh branch and then reapply all of my changes on top of that. Sometimes either by just cherry picking the commits or actually like re-implementing them. 
So that's part of why I don't uh, keep up to date with the versions anymore. Can I make this like play in tool mode? Method call mode will be immediate. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can do like. Do animation call tool method in editor. Because I really do need to see this working in action, I think. That's not quite what I want. Hmm. All right, I have no idea how that's going to work. So let's just do uh, recent, maybe. fresh Godot window. So I can do um, I need this. So let's see if there's anything editor hints. Aha. Can call is inside tree and not engine get it. Singleton is editor hint. Okay. So this is exactly what I want to change because I need to actually see this. So what I'll do is I'll just add a boolean here. What is this? Hmm. I really would wish that they stuck to, well, that they formatted it the way that I like it. Because every single time I see this, I'm tempted to change how it works, which is, I prefer structs and enums at the top always, then variables from largest to smallest, because that can improve uh, memory layout. But oh well. Cool. Um... Play in editor. Uh, then we need So if is inside tree and play in editor or oh wait no got Godot on my brain I like English operator names but okay so if it's inside the tree and we can play in the editor or it's not the editor that's what I said right. Like, Okay. Or let's call it, uh, let's not call it play in editor. Let's call it like call in editor.
So now I just need to figure out where the public methods are. I'll just add it like, uh, what are these end ifs? Oh, okay. And now I need um, to set these properties properly. So that's going to be, where do I want it? I want it in the playback options, I think. Actually, I guess, but I have to preview it as I'll set that. Alright. Alright, and there's none of that. Property hint none. to set these uh, here. So if I do, where do I want that? Let's do here. Oh yeah, this is the uh, Card City Knights soundtrack. I really like it. So this should give me the ability to now call methods in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to quit this and I'm going to set it to false by default and then compile this. That should work. Yeah, I think they're generated somewhere, but they're then these XML files.
And if I remember right, there's some way to automatically generate them from the code, I think. And there's also the, the translations of each of the uh, things, which makes it... So you have to be pretty... or Which can make it so that there's quite a lot of stuff if you want to search through. Or if you don't, like, limit your searches to just C++ files, there's a lot of uh, these that come up in your search results. Hmm. I don't know if they are. Oh, maybe it's this. Maybe? I guess this might not be the automatic. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea. I do know that I don't think there's very many there's not very many comments in the code at all, really. And sometimes there's things like commented out code that I wind up just uh, not, or like deleting. You know, I should actually, now that I'm looking at this, I should make sure that there's no other editor hint places. Yeah, there are. Hmm. I think that's fine. Set autoplay. Okay, I think I got everything that I need then. So I'll just have to hope that I don't like delete things by accident. Actually, I'm gonna be back in a couple minutes.
Hmm. Hmm. See, I'm going to see if my thing worked. Go into here. So the only place so far that I need this is this orchestrator. Playback options. I don't see it in here. Why don't I see it in here? So it's opt.tools.64. Looks to be in the right place. What if I go? What if I go to my? Um, uh, call in editor. Okay, it's in here. But for some reason, it's not in here. Is it not public? Let's get some more music in here. Let's see, I've never made my own documentation builder. That could be a fun project. Let's see, I guess I'm gonna do Night in the Woods soundtrack. I guess the first thing I should know, I should do the obvious and check for um, the Godot binaries. Because we got a bunch of these things. So, okay, this was freshly compiled, fresh off the presses. But let's try running it directly from here, because it might be a shortcut issue. And then if it's not that... Hmm... Oh wait, no, I, it literally wouldn't be that. I just realized because I, I, actually, I explicitly looked up call in editor here, and it wasn't there. So for some reason, the property is registering partially. But like, not in here. So let's see if I can see any difference. Because it may be that the methods aren't right. So we have set colon editor. Can colon editor. So this doesn't seem to be anywhere weird. Oh, wait. No, that wouldn't be the issue. 
Wait, no, it could be the issue. I'm realizing now. Yeah, okay. This zero here, I think explicitly actually disables it from being shown in the editor. I mean, I guess I could just look it up. So it's this property info here. Not quite. P usage. So, okay, okay, I see. So I was setting it to zero. So yeah, we have storage, editor, network. Okay, that's because I was looking at the wrong thing, because I thought that was part of the Boolean stuff. This zero here is actually the usage, and it means that this is a something that is not saved, not open to the editor, and not um, uh, uh, sent over the network. I don't know. Something to do with networking. Okay, so that should make that easier. So I'm going to see if I can get these perfectly synchronized. Almost. We did get it, though. We got it in there, so it got that far. But for some reason, then, it didn't preview the animation. Is there supposed to play this one? And also right here, I'm going to do So mum should actually be. Oh, this is going to be an issue because she actually needs to transition from this frame instantly to. Um... Hmm. Let's have an extra Boolean here. Let's see. If it had like a decent story for editing it and compiling it, like if it didn't take like 30 seconds to make a refactor of like a field, then it would be nice. But I don't know if they'd even be possible to set that up. Because I would like the idea of compiling directly against the engine. But also, well, I would prefer some other language if they're going to do it. See, so for some reason this didn't save properly. Or it didn't, um... Hmm. 
Okay, I'm not seeing things that are working here. Invalid set index active on base nil with value of type bool. Uh, let's hide that for now. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so it's activating. Okay, so that was the that was the issue. It was activating the animation tree because it was in the editor. So I may actually just need a universal system for doing that. But okay, so if we go in here. So yeah, I think what I want is actually this and this. And then I'm going to not have this have this reset thing. And what I'll need is actually to have the animation node that I set up. Because I'll need this back. Let's see. At least in my experience, I find C Sharp a lot more convenient than C++, because I hate things like having to, um, having to define the same thing in two places is just a minor, just a minor issue, but then there's also confusing things like, um, how copy constructors work and things like that. Like, when does it do a copy constructor? When will it automatically select the right, like, move constructor? Um, what are the other things? I guess... I'm trying to think of what other problems I have, because I usually have... I guess it's a lot of just minor things, usually. Because I guess... I guess I wouldn't prefer C Sharp over C++, though, because it does sacrifice some level of control. All right, now I'm going to put in here. Let's do... Um, oh, this is going to be a nightmare. I know. So I need this matrix here. And this needs to be nearest. So that way... That didn't work, really. How do I do what I want? Because I need these two to be reset at this frame instantly. But I don't want them to interpolate at all. I mean, I guess I could just set it to like a thousandth. Because the game is... So I'm not a fan of this idea. Why is it going that way?
this removed. Then we're going to do function like uh, states. Okay, so I actually need this to be set up properly now. So I need this. Probably. And then I need um, a custom animation node. So that's going to be This is going to be um, state machine playback. No. This one, which I can only get from. How do I do that for the player? Mm hmm. Yeah, I do think C++ is useful to learn, but it's also just very irritating in my experience. So I need my custom node. So it's entry, get node whole body, get node custom animation. Oh, I see. Okay. So this is going to be state machine slash custom node. What is anim tree then? Oh, okay, tree root. Okay, so anim tree, tree root, get node, state machine slash custom node. That will get us our custom animation. So then it'll be custom anim dot animation equals anim. And then we'll do uh, It's not transition to, it's travel. Okay. Let's see if this works. So I should be able to take my orchestrator. Does not seem to have worked super hot.
But I am happy to say that it played this instantly. Or it... Yeah, went to there. Hmm. So why does this not work? Condition dot not nodes dot has name. The assigned expression type node doesn't match the variable's type. Ten. I think. Are these? What if I just. Ignore those, and then try this again. No, okay. Invalid set index animation on base null instance with type value of type string. So, animation node state machine condition not state machine states has p travel. Ah, okay. So that's because. Let's go back to mom. I need intro sit and I need, um, let's go here. I'm going to say that doesn't have any of that. Oh, look at that. It actually works now. Sort of. I mean, that one didn't work. Hmm. Invalid set index animation. Okay, so not notes that has P name. Is true. Okay, so I think this is now because I tried to do the slashing or the slash there because I think it has to be dot get node state machine dot get node custom node we're getting closer and closer And also, I'm going to do cubic rotation for this one. No, no, not this one. That can be linear. This will be cubic, though. Maybe if I... Hang on. I'm going to try this as... Well, no, if that's cubic, that's going to mess everything up. Invalid set index animation. Hmm. Invalid. Okay, so uh, not states dot has p name. Let's try this again. Mm hmm. Yeah, there's definitely more control with C++, but it's also like, it feels like you're active, well, it feels like it has like half of every feature from every programming language, or at least implemented in a half measure. Like, 
Yeah, that looked terrible. So let's just let's just put this back to linear. Because I think what I can do is eventually I'll have like actual like um, paths or something that I can follow. Let's see, this looks bad. Well, well, okay. So this is still not working. Why is that the case? Condition not states that has p name is true. Return ref animation node. So that is because our custom node did not have anything. So is this state machine? Hmm. Is there space? There is a space. There's a space right there. Uh, C++, I mean, has like... Because C-sharp, there are some clunk... Or there is some clunk with it, like... The fact that the async is by default wrong, so you have to configure a weight false everything. Because I'm not even sure. I don't even like... To be honest, I think async await is just kind of a, like... I don't... I don't understand what problem it's trying to solve, really. Let's see. That looked bad. So, okay. So... It seems what I've tried to accomplish is a fruitless venture. Yeah. Yeah, so I need some better way of managing the position. Hmm. I guess what I can do is I'm going to have a node path. Well, what do I want with this? Yeah, I guess I'll just do a node path. So, like, export node path bar uh, path. Or, like, And then we'll do like and we'll have like export float Yeah, let's actually just say, like, set path this well. Okay, so let's do set path node, set path amount. Hmm. Oh wait, uh, hello.
Okay, so I'm going to do an entirely bold and new thing here. Else. Uh, bar position equals dot interpolate of a get curve dot get point position. Now, how do I how do I do this dang thing? Interpolate. All right, let's hang on. I need to go to path follow. Because basically what I want is to replicate the behavior of path follow in my node. So let's go to um, drive uh, something. My brain is very slowly working through what I want. Maybe it's in here. There it is. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so it's just curve interpolate baked. Path.curve. Interpolate baked. Uh, P path. Balls. Like. And then we'll just do like uh for now I'll do old transform dot origin equals uh path dot global transform times uh position. Okay, so what I'm doing here is now I can have a path. Set this to real visible. So instead of having our mother come in on a, uh, a, a what have you, or like hand pointed, hand placed like checkpoints or uh, keyframe positions, I'm going to have her position follow a little path. I'm just going to start here. And hopefully, I'll be able to figure out how to make it, like, horizontal. I mean, I guess what I could do... Is I could just make it so that it completely ignores the, um... Like, let's just do position.y equals zero. And then, it's, it's a nice idea that it, uh... Doesn't mess up with that. I'm not a fan of how saving messes with all my stuff. But I know that if I didn't do that, it'd mess up even worse. Okay, let's very slowly figure out what I want. So I want this, I guess, to be part of the orchestrator. And let's put the orchestrator up at the top here. Intro path. And then I'm going to do... Uh, real visible for this. And let's have this. We'll just do a simple good old fashioned one of these. 
And then intro path. This will be keyed right here. And path them out. Key right here. And then let's have right here. Uh, oh, right. It doesn't save properly. And then we can have it go up to one. And it doesn't seem to quite do what I want. Hmm. Invalid set index active on base null with type of value bool. Okay, so that is very interesting. I'm not sure why that doesn't work. But I'll ignore it for now. Is what I'm interested in trying. Get this back. Uh, also, none of this should be in here still. Okay, so I need the path node. And then here, it's going to be set to nothing. I'm still not a fan of that weird... Oh, I know why. It's because it can't... Okay. That was actually an issue, because... Uh, I set this up badly. I think what I need to do, I think the real answer here is to not have the the uh, the the sitting in the thing animation be all ugly and weird like it is. Because basically it's interpolating, it was interpolating that when I tried to smoothly blend between these animations. Okay, so that doesn't work. And also I plainly see Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do what I should have done from the very start, which is I'm going to redo the sitting animation in the correct position. So, uh, pray for me as I embark on this dangerous journey. Because what I need now... Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Medium. So we need this, and we need this, and I need intro sit. And we actually need this here.
So what if I remove every single one of these root nodes? For sure here. Oh, wait, no, this is the timeline. Okay, so I don't need... So I'm going to do... I think I'm just going to need to do the whole animation again, I think. Ah, well. So she's going to be here, and she's going to... Well, let's do, like, um... How do I want to do this? Because essentially... I wanted to walk up to it. Okay, let's say it like 70 frames. She's going to be down and sitting and very stylish. Wait, do I have twist bones in here? No, okay, these are like, oh, those are bones for the sleeves that I never made. Also, I need, like, a simpler layout. That's good enough. My very beautifully blended uh, thumbs, very meticulously designed, very perfect, perfectly positioned and modeled. But okay, let's get her arms actually a little bit more out.
All right, that's a pretty good pose. Now let's see how she actually gets down here. So I think... And I won't worry too much about the dress for now. And this way I should have much more control over um, how she's positioned. So I think when she's here, she should be like, where should she be actually? How does this, oh, right. Okay. So her, her body just does whatever it wants. I forgot. I think actually she would be further forward. Uh, looks bad. Let's move this in. What is this here? Okay. Uh... Oh, okay, I see. Well, I don't really, but... Eh, good enough. Okay, so now what I need... Go to here. So let's start with... Okay, we already have all those.
perfectly adequate. I'll say that's uh, fine as it is. And honestly, what I'll probably do... Hmm. Well, what could I do? Why is this... Why is this something different? Why is this name something different? I'll just... I'll just stash this. And then unstash this. And then I'll very slowly go to the nonlinear animation. And let's find intro walk. So this is intro walk. And it's going away. Wait, I see something. Oh, I saw something suspicious here. No, I didn't. Okay. So what does intro sit then? Why is this still being used? I did not mean... Why? Is pressing the 2 duplicated? So which object is attached to this animation? Disable that. Goodbye. So who is using our uh, sit? Let's remove that. Sit test. Let's remove that. Intro sit. Who is using this? Why are they using it? Oh, wait. It's still here. Wrong thing. Yeah, have a good night, Alex. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, wait, I need to disable this collection here. There we go. So now... But it'll do. Let's get uh, let's get this back actually. So I'll just instantly rotate them or something. Well, no, that I forgot. The entire thing was I can't rotate the character. Hmm. But what I will do. What is get bake interval? So let's go to set unit offset. So set unit unit offset times path times get curve times get unit length. Okay. I see. So this should be position equals p path times path dot curve dot uh, Get baked link.
Okay, so let's see if this works. So when we play this... So it plays the walking. Doesn't play the sitting. Let's look at the animation. So we should have a sit animation, but I see that we do not. It's fascinating to wonder about these things, the great mysteries of our lives, our lives. Like why does this goddamn thing not have the sit animation? Why is it not exporting? So close all tabs. So let's see this. Let's go in File Manager. So this was saved at... Okay, so this is not being saved. That's very cool. I like that a lot. Okay, is this exporting to the right place? Now it is. Cool. I like how my tools don't work. Now let's go to the illusory room. Let's see what the issues are. Those are fine, I'm assuming. Because she's still, well, she's all screwed up now. Hang on. Very interesting game. Very interesting of you to break every single material here. To break all of them. Every single one. I don't care. Whatever. It's and it's not it's such a baffling thing because every single other mesh, every single other mesh where I import a material, it works just fine. Like if I go to if I go to the base mesh, if we go to the base mesh. Eventually. Like, the materials are just fine. But if we go here, these materials change. These materials change. So why is that? Like, here, this material stays the same even when I save the file. But for this file specifically, they don't. Okay, whatever. Let's go to the orchestrator. Let's see if this works. So it doesn't rotate perfectly fine. She sits. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'll keep this, but I'm going to delete this keyframe here. No. So it's just going to keep her right where she is. So she's just going to sit down right there. I don't appreciate that. That is in, that is uh, not correct, whatever that was.
But all right. So this here is no... Oh, I see. Because I said it wrong anyway. So what I'm going to do... Get rid of that. Okay, it's semi-functional now. So what I might do is have a walk, a walk-like state that is based on the player's movement. Or that's based on the character's movement. That would actually be really nice. So what I could do is if I have her here, so let's control this rotation and let's also have the room visible. So I won't be able to save at all during this. It'll be very surgical. But let's save her rotation. I'm going to use cubic. Why can't I... Oh, right. It's not... Okay. So it's not... So there's no pause. So what I'm actually going to do... Good intro path. Let's do... Um, I'll try making three more walk cycles. One for walking forward, or one for walking left, one for walking right, one for walking backward. So that way, I can essentially just use those to interpolate, like, the direction she's moving from the direction she's um, looking, or whatever it is. Hmm. I see interesting interpretation here. So I'm just going to move this down a little bit. Uh, uh, good enough. Let's have all of this play it much further out. So it'll be like five and then Okay, now I need to actually see that in action. So what I'm going to do is uh, proof of concept. So the next step will be instead of having the walking just like have her walk in a forward direction with one walk cycle, I'll need to add three walk cycles. So let's set that in here. So this is going to be... So uh, where is Dynamic Mom? Now where is the meeting? Redo the terrible walk animation. So what I'm going to do now is uh make directional walk cycles um add code to blend based on animated movement so this way oh and 
uh, orientation. Oh, I'll complete that one. I did complete a task today. And let's hope that the animations, or that it looks correct. Okay. Uh, let's say comfortable thing with the shawl and uh, pink eyes. So now she should moonwalk into place. She did not. Oh, wait, no. Nope, she didn't. Okay, cool. So what was the error here? Interesting. I see. No errors. Main speaker play Mum Walks In. That did not play. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, so it should play this. Wait, does that show her? So if we go to... Hello. That does make visible. It does vis play show. Overlay skeleton. Okay, so that should all be good. Animation tree active true. Hmm. Why? But why does it not work? Wrong thing. Let's say a simple dress, a shawl, purple. And with green skin. So she will be... Let's see where she is. So we have hello called. Great. Is the animation... Is the node in the right place? So if I go to... Here. And I have... Oh, I see, I see. This can't be here. Because otherwise this node is not there. I should have thought of that. But okay. And actually, I want that here. And maybe the orchestrator here. And the activator here. And then I think this and these. Okay. So it's because her path was in the wrong place.
Well. She didn't quite work out. And I think I know why. Go back to here. Go to orchestrator. Uh, I don't need that. Lumlock's in her path node. It's the wrong thing now. And I may only have, now that I think about it, forward or left and right walk cycles. Because a backward walk cycle is already hard to diff or it's hard to get working. Well, I guess I might make it. Yeah, so I think she'll be walking significantly slower. Yeah, this is now looking functional. So let's do like 10 seconds or something. Okay, so I see basically a lot of foot sliding because it's just not a good animation currently. But that's easy to fix because I'll just fix it when I get to there. But okay, this is the start of a decent, uh, what have you. Or a decent start to, like, an animation blending system. So I don't have to animate everything, like, walking around. Okay, so tomorrow... Am I... Wor no. I, well, I guess I might do it tomorrow. I'll do something. I'll Because I just need the left and right walking animations. And probably backwards. And then... To figure out the character's velocity... When you're going whatever way. Ah, whatever. It'll work out. That's a good stopping point for now. Let's do... Uh, expose falling methods in animation or in the editor. Yeah, thanks for sticking around. Let's see, let's hope. Hey, that actually worked. This will be, um... Placed bad... Intro walk with bad scripted. Bad walk animation. Bad. And last but not least. Uh, placed intro walk with a walk, cycle, and generic sit. Okay. So that should be pretty good. Thanks for sticking around. I'll be back Sunday for more exciting uh, stuff. See you then.